Welcome to Gemba Video by Asian Productivity Organization. In Japanese, the word Gemba means a particular place where things are carried out. Now we'll show you good practices at the production sites in Japan. Today's theme is smart farming. Smart farming is a brand new farming style with state of the art technologies like ICT and robots. We achieve labor saving and high quality production with it. We are now in Kozaki Town in Chiba Prefecture. Kozaki Town is a small town with a population of 6,000, located right in the north of Narita Airport. We are visiting Kozaki Tobu Farm, which produces paddy rice, wheat, and soybeans. A lot of smart technologies are applied here. Right now in Japan, we harvest rice in September. Well then, let's get started. Kozaki Tobu, Agricultural Producers Cooperative Corporation, farms about 92.6 hectares of the large flat area in the lower reaches of the Tone River. We produce paddy rice, wheat, and soybeans with five employees and four temporary staff in total. With 67.1 hectares of rice and 25.5 hectares of wheat and soybean fields, our sales annually exceeds 100 million yen. Crops rotate three times in two years per section. Let's see the annual farming process in Kozaki Tobu Farm. We plow lands in March. Then we puddle the soil and set out rice plants in April and May. Rice can be harvested in August and September. After harvesting rice, we plant wheat. After plowing and digging ditches, we sow them in around November. During winter, trampling is done and then in June, we harvest them. Soybeans are sown in July and harvested at the end of November. This is how three crops rotate in two years on this farm. These days, the number of farmers is decreasing due to the aging society and lack of successors. Accepting idle land, workloads of remained farmers are increasing. As the farm acreage of the corporation gets larger to prepare for further scale up, smart farming will solve the problems with labor saving and efficient farming approaches. Analyzing crop yields and automatic steering technology will help us to make yields larger and seek a more accurate approach as well. Self-driving tractors and a water management system improved the efficiency of farming. As a result, total working hours decreased by 1,100 hours. Working hours per 0.1 hectare were cut by 15%. Crop yield grid map data with a fertilization adjusting system helped improve growth of the crops. We are expecting the production to increase with sterilization in a proper period and arrangement of brands to be produced. Self driving tractor. Self-driving tractors enable us to steer them only with the 2 cm error range thanks to automatic position correction by the fixed station set up on the rooftop of the town hall. Unmanned driving is also possible. Working hours on conventional production can be reduced by 60% with remote controlling and parallel operation of manned driving and unmanned driving. Through the soil puddling process, the accurate control of the tractors without error achieved 17% actual decreases of working hours, still 50% decreases according to calculations. Moreover, using the self-driving system, amateur workers can operate the tractors like skilled farmers or even better. Hey, this robot 
This robot tractor has 13 sensors on it. They automatically guarantee safety and then begin operations. The lights tell us the status of the machines from afar. Now all of the three colors of lights are turned on, waiting for self-driving mode. The red color tells us it's stopped and blue tells us it's running. Eating quality, crop yield grid map combined. As eating quality, crop yield grid map combines, we own two types of them, head feeding type and general purpose type. In this video, we will introduce the latter one, which can be used as a self-driving combine. Self-driving general purpose robot combines can be steered only with a two centimeter error range thanks to automatic position correction by the fixed station set up on the rooftop of the town hall. Though we, from a safety perspective, do not use them unmanned. Linked with GPS and KSOS, Kubota Smart Agri System, the combines make grid maps from the yield amount report which they get when harvesting. Fertilization optimization grid maps for the next crop rotation are made from the yield amount report. To increase crop yields, we can adjust the amount of fertilization according to the grid map. Eating quality, crop yield sensor is equipped with this general purpose robot combine. Using a cloud service, we can check the quality and status of the crops on the computers in the office. At this moment, we're not allowed to run the machines unmanned for safety reasons. But it's technically possible, I think. Thanks to the self-driving system, inexperienced employees can produce as great a result as skilled farmers. It helps us to save labor a lot. This shows crop yield data of the year. Now the grids per 10 meters appear on the screen. We compare the deep red part and the whitish part and plan to put in more fertilizer next year. The blue color is the average. We put more fertilizer to white parts next time. In this manner, we assign more fertilizer to the parts where we produced little crops this year. In this grid map, deep red color shows the maximum yield of more than 700 kilograms and white shows the minimum of less than 300 kilograms. As you can see, we designed the amount of fertilizer like this while the crops were growing. This year, we fixed the average amount of fertilizer as 42 kilograms. Blue shows the average 42 kilograms. Orange shows 44 kilograms. Light blue shows 40 kilograms. Much lighter blue shows 38 kilograms and white shows 36 kilograms. The grid map tells us the red part where had much fertilizer produces many crops, but the part with less fertilizer produced less. So we plan to put 46 kilograms of fertilizer, which was put into the red part, which produced few crops. Pesticide spraying by agricultural multicopter. An agricultural multicopter sprays crops in two minutes per 0.1 hectares from scratch, 12 hectares in a day at most. In this region, we had cooperative pesticide spraying conducted by helicopters at a time before. Using agricultural multicopters, we can spray crops in the proper timing, so we got 98% of first class rice rate. 
sorted by a rice color sorter. The average first-class rice rate in the region was 57% in 2019. We also saved 650,000 yen for cooperative spraying. Moreover, spraying by agricultural multicopters enables us to handle partially weed-infested areas or places channeled apple snails inhabit. GPS-linked keeping straight rice planting machine. This rice planting machine, though it, it resolves manually, keeps straight thanks to GPS linking. We no longer need to steer it when it's going straight, so there's no need to get down to plant rice. No worries about working at nighttime. Eyesights are restricted at night, but we successfully planted them. We also save the costs, grow rice evenly without loss, and upscale yield and the quality of rice, adjusting fertilizer amounts by a crop yield grid map combine. Moreover, a normal rice planting machine may plant rice unevenly due to wheel idling, but thanks to GPS, it can keep the intervals between rice plants. GPS-linked rice planting machines succeeded in distributing rice seedling and fertilization both with 100% accuracy. Paddy Field Remote Water Management System A remote water management system enables us to manage water through smartphones, which originally requires human patrolling of the fields. We can check the water level and adjust the water anytime remotely. In the verification results, this management system saved up to 80% of the time to manage water in the early growth of rice, especially in the direct sowing field where water management plays an important role. Rice plants grow well with the precise water management. We also take measure against channeled apple snails with precise water shallowing, which harm large amounts of rice these days. Most of the crops harvested by Kozaki Tobu Agricultural Producers Cooperative Corporation are delivered to agricultural cooperatives. Plus, we sell soybeans for a local private brand product, Kozaki Nato, which is popular at rest stops. We produce a rice brand, Niji no Kurameki, as well, which the National Agriculture and Food Research Organization has improved. This brand, called Smart Farming Rice, sells well thanks to its good taste. Smart farming is the new type of agriculture with state-of-the-art technology such as robots and ICT. We are confronted with labor shortage, lack of successors who take over farming skills, and lack of precise data. Modern technologies will solve such problems in the agricultural sector. Kozaki Tobu Farms has reduced 60% of tillage hours by self-driving tractors. Rice planting machines with GPS enabled us to plant in 100% accuracy as planned. Kozaki Tobu Farms is trying to spread smart farming to nearby farmers too. Smart farming has just started and is spreading to various fields of agriculture. Someday in the near future, smart farming will be the mainstream of agriculture. <laughs>